Greetings, barroom dancers. I have something that you can change in your day-to-day -day life that will greatly fix your posture. One simple tip will improve it so much. When I first started barroom dancing, I was probably, this is probably my normal posture right here, right? Now, I actually get a little bit of a sore neck if I've been over that far. I, I'd say this is probably normal, right? I still get out to dance. I still got to remember shoulders down, you know, and neck more straight. But in general, I stand up a lot straighter. Even if you're not a ballroom dancer and you're just watching this to see how to improve your posture, this all revolves around cell phones. How much time do you spend on your cell phone? If you don't spend a whole lot of time on it, you know, this might not be a great tip for you. But I guarantee you that all of us spend a lot of time on our phones. Like, if you're lucky, like this. A lot of us probably are totally relaxed, shoulders in, head maybe even down almost a 90 degree angle, typing away, typing away, watching a video, ha ha ha, you know, look at this, share it with somebody, you're holding it down, everyone's staring down like this, right? Here's my trick. Hold it at eye level. This is the fix for your posture. Look, like, look how I'm standing. You could even try and be, like, you know, when you train for boxing, a lot of times you're aiming high, higher in a punching bag so that when it comes time to actually box, your arms can drop a little bit. Hold yourself on up a little bit. And it's not that strange. If you want to be more ballroom about it, hold it with your elbow up, you know? Maybe you can work on your frame, too, at the same time. But all jokes aside, eye level. Think about it. What else is eye level? Like everything. Your television. Where do you put your television? On the floor? No. You put it so when you're uh, sitting there, it's at eye level or probably even up a little higher. You go into a museum, unless it's designed to be on the floor because it's like abstract art or something crazy, where is the painting at? Eye level. I have one right here, eye level. You know, you don't walk into Bobby's house and be like, hey man, wow, that is such a great family portrait you guys got down there. No, everything human set up is designed right here. Hold your cell phone here. You might even get a shoulder workout. The weirdest thing about somebody walking around like this is it looks like you're recording somebody. I have not had somebody come to me and say, like, are you recording me? Like, no. It might help you even as you're walking around. You ever see people on their cell phones and bonk into something? Hold it straight up like this. Okay? It's such, a, it's such an easy trick. It's to the point now where if I'm at work, I actually use a handheld device at work all the time. And if I don't hold it at eye level and it's down like this, my neck actually gets a little sore. It is that great of a tip. So, long story short, eye level, everybody. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you tremendously. Now, also in Dan Sport Diaries, I always keep track of my stats. So, I'm just going to get these up to date real quick. I haven't updated them in the last couple, but that's okay. Over the last um, couple episodes, I have already been in three more dance dance sport competitions. So my total is now nine. I'm about to hit the double digits, everybody. I would love to dance more, but I can't afford it. And my AMAM totals now are up to 182 heats. And Pro-Am is now up to 95. Hey, I'm about to hit triple digits in the Pro-Am heats. Uh, the new total for all barm dance competition money I've spent, 12386 That covers pro fees, anything. That's a total of invoices I get from the studio for dancing. We have won now a total of $788. I've won enough comps over the last couple competitions, equal like $140, $422. So, um, looking at it real quick, 12,000 compared to like a total of like the prizes I've won is almost about maybe about 10%. And if I hold that, you know, I'm happy. The goal is one day to actually compete and be able to win enough money to make some of that back. And we do. And it's fine. It's more about the fun than anything. Uh, I hope that tip helped you. I don't seem to have any other uh, suggestions that I want to share in this one, but I'm going to show you one about 
a great way to help your knees stay strong and healthy. That's going to be a whole other topic in a, in a video upcoming, so stay tuned for that. As always, stay safe out there, enjoy your dancing, and I hope things I share with you help on your ballroom journeys. All right, everybody, take care. Thanks for watching.